In this series, we're going to look at the JavaScript library Redux. Now, if you've ever built a React application, the chances are you will have heard of Redux as they often go hand in hand and are used together. But Redux itself is a standalone JavaScript library. In fact, you can use it with just plain JavaScript, React.js, AngularJS, Vue.js, even WordPress. So Redux itself can be used wherever you find the need for it. So what exactly is Redux? Well, Redux is a predictable state container for your JavaScript applications. Now that might sound a bit complex, but don't worry, it's really not. If you think about a modern JavaScript application, something like Facebook, for example, there's a lot of data that gets presented to a user and there needs to be a way to manage and understand that data within your application and within the context of your application. And this is what Redux aims to do. It aims to take complex applications that have complex data, a complex state, and make it easy and predictable to manage, especially when there's changes going on to this data. Normally, I like to dive straight into writing code, but for Redux, there are three concepts that I want to explain before we can jump in and write some code. So in the next videos, I'm gonna explain those three concepts and then we're gonna jump in and write some code. So I'll catch you in the next video.